In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Adam voice on Elephant Labs, which is the most legendary voice in this platform. And there are a few settings that you might want to take a look at, and it's going to be different depending on the kind of audio that you want to produce. So here's how you can do it. First, navigate to elephantlabs.io and then log in with your account. And you can use the Adam voice even if you're using the free version of Elephant Labs. And after that, navigate to text to speech. And here I'm going to be using this text and basically I got this text from Perplexity and hopefully this text can emphasize some emotion from the AI model. So if you want to use Adam, you have to select the voice and search for Adam. Right now there are multiple Adams in Elephant Labs, but you want to use the one that is the legacy, legacy version. So you want to use this one that has this Elephant Labs symbol and you want to select it. Now uh, we can play around with the settings for this voice profile. So here you want to select the model. Right now, LM Labs have uh, plenty of models. There is uh, the first model, which is Elephant Analyst version 1, and there is the latest model at the moment, which is Elephant Multilingual version 2. Now, the model here is a bit tricky because even though it says that it is recommended for the voice Adam, which is the Elephant Multilingual version 2, this voice Adam has been around for quite some time. So you can use the previous models like the Elephant Flash version 2 or even Elephant English version 1. It's just uh, going to work no matter what because again, it is a legacy model. And I think this is also very important to mention because just because you're using the latest model doesn't mean it's going to give you the best or the most accurate emotion. Now, let me give you some examples. I'm going to play these two audios and tell me which one is using the latest and the oldest version. So I'm going to play this one first. Sarah's heart pounded as she opened the letter, her hands trembling with anticipation. I can't believe it, she whispered, tears of joy streaming down her face. Okay, that was one. Let's try this one. Sarah's heart pounded as she opened the letter, her hands trembling with anticipation. I can't believe it, she whispered, tears of joy streaming down her face. Okay, so these two are using the exact same settings, but the models are different. Can you tell me which one using the latest model, which one using the uh, oldest model? Well, the answer is this is the oldest model. So this one has, in my opinion, has the most emotion, even though it is using the oldest model, but it is actually doing a great job at emphasizing the emotion from the text compared to this one, which is using Elephant Multilingual version 2. So I think the model here doesn't really mean that it's going to give you the best version. And I think I, at the end of the day, it's really just uh, keep trying the models and see which one you think is going to sound the best and i'm going to play the audio again so you can understand what i mean sarah's heart pounded as she opened the letter her hands trembling with anticipation i can't believe it she whispered tears of joy streaming down her face so that was the oldest model and it has the most emotion at least in my opinion but then again feel free to use the latest model if you want to and in this case i'm going to be using the latest model which is elephant model lingual version 2. now uh, we can play around with these other settings. So for the speed, it's actually up to you. You can make it very slow. You can make it very fast. The highest setting is 1.2 and the lowest setting is 0.7. And uh, for my testing, there's no differences in quality when it comes to the pace of the speech. You can make the person speak slowly or really fast. It's up to you. But in this case, usually my favorite setting for Adam is 0.95. So just a bit slower than the normal speech. And for the stability, this is very important and it really depends on what kind of audio or what kind of content that you are trying to generate. So for example, for if you want to make the audio to be more engaging, then you might want to reduce it to around 40% or I would say between 35 to 45%. That's usually the uh, quite a good number. So it's good to make the audio to be a bit more engaging, a bit more energetic, I would say. and it's very good for making content that is educational or tutorial or maybe you are telling story you can use that setting so in this case i'm going to be using let's say 42 percent and if you want to make let's say informational content or news content then you might want to increase it about a 60 or even 70 percent so that's usually the the good numbers for making 
uh, you know, more informational content that's a bit formal. But again, I'm going to be using 42% as the setting for stability for Adam. Now, uh, the next thing that you can adjust is the similarity. So by default, it is going to be at 75%, but you can reduce it if you want to. So the rule is actually kind of the same as stability. If you want to make it more engaging, then you might want to uh, reduce the number a bit like, but do not keep it under 30%, at least in my opinion. And usually I, I like to keep the settings to be around 55%. That's usually my speed, sweet spot and it will work for any kind of content. But then again, if you want to make the audio to be more similar, more stable or, you know, more like a news anchor, then you can increase the number. But if you want to make it to be conversational, then you want to re reduce the number. But I think 55% is the best or the sweet spot for this setting. Now, for the style exaggeration, this is usually not something that you want to change. You want to just set it to zero because even though you're just increasing it by 1%, it will dramatically change uh, the sound of the uh, voice profile. So most of the time, I would say 90% of the time, you want to set it to zero. Now, for the speaker boost, you can enable it and I do recommend to do so because it will make the audio to be more vibrant, more accurate to the actual voice. And that's usually my setting for Adam. Feel free to change the setting depending on the kind of content that you want to generate. Now, I guess I'm going to show you a few examples when I'm changing the settings for a slightly different uh, type of content. Okay, now I'm going to click generate speech and just wait and it will play the audio. Sarah's heart pounded as she opened the letter, her hands trembling with anticipation. I can't believe it, she whispered, tears of joy streaming down her face. Okay, now I'm, I want to make it to be a bit more engaging. Let's reduce the stability to around 35%. And I'm going to reduce the similarity a bit as well to about, let's say 45%. Now let's try it again. And by the way, in 11 Labs, they will give you two extra free regenerations, assuming that you're changing the settings, but not changing the text. So that's actually a good way to uh, trying settings that might work for your particular goal. Sarah's heart pounded as she opened the letter, her hands trembling with anticipation. I can't believe it, she whispered, tears of joy streaming down her face. So yeah, I can tell that it's a bit more engaging than the previous version. It may be a bit subtle, but for me, I can tell that it sounds much better compared to the previous setting. But then again, it really depends on the kind of text that you're working on, the kind of audio that you want to get from this AI model in 11 laps. So uh, keep trying, keep changing settings and see which one is going to work best for your uh, particular type of content. But that's basically the setting for Adam. And by the way, I'm going to leave some sort of summary of the settings that you can use uh, for Adam in the video description. So you can always double check and you can apply that setting for your voice in 11 laps. And that's basically it. If you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.